So I came across this article um, <clears throat> about diabetic neuropathy. And basically they're saying uh, diabetic neuropathy is not associated with homocysteine, anemia, folate, vitamin B12 levels, uh, MTHFR, C677 uh, mutation, uh, or in type 2 diabetes, uh, taking metformin. Now, why are they even looking? Um, <clears throat> this was a cross-sectional study, and again, I think that's the big question. Why were they looking? There has been a, um, a large association with uh, Methifer, MTHFR, uh, 677 in the other one, I think it's uh, 1298, um, <clears throat> with uh, metabolic pathways leading to diabetic neuropathy. In fact, there are several associated with diabetic neuropathy. I'll talk about those in just a minute, but first, a, um, an introduction. My name is Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D-B-R-E-W-E-R. -E um, PrevMed, heart attack, stroke, uh, cancer, disability prevention. We focus a lot on diabetes because a huge portion of what we do is find um, unrecognized diabetes and get people started on the correct treatment and prevention. <clears throat> so, here the, the real issue on this is um, Questions about um, genetics and diabetic um, neuropathies. <clears throat> Actually, I found a really good um, visual on this, and hopefully we can get it up there so you can see it. <clears throat> the first one has to do with uh, ACE inhibitors. Again, different neurologic uh, or different pathways associated with diabetic neuropathy. This one is uh, angio ACE, and guess what? Guess why ACE inhibitors are so important uh, in prevention of problems with uh, diabetes? Um, <clears throat> angiotensin converting enzyme uh, takes angio uh, creates angiotensin two. Uh, basically, this is associated with oxidized states, uh, endothelial uh, cell damage, um, uh, vascular damage leading, and in this mechanism, the thought is the uh, neuropathy is due to uh, damage to the microvessels to the nerve, a, uh, what we call uh, vasonervosum, in other words, vaso meaning um, small vessels, uh, nervosum, meaning to the nerves. Let's look at some of these others. <clears throat> AKR1V1. This one is uh, associated with polyols, sorbitols. Uh, this one's a mitochondrial issue. And um, when you're looking at mitochondrial, you're looking at uh, NADPH or NAD, the oxidative phosphorylation process. In several of the videos, we've talked about cell respiration. Um, <clears throat> if you look at the major types of cell respiration, you have um, glycolysis, where you're breaking glucose down to a three-carbon um, uh, molecule. The uh, TCA cycle, Krebs cycle, um, basically where you're taking one carbon off of that, that three carbon chain. And that's the linkage to the real uh, metabolic process used by humans and any aerobic um, uh, creature. You get about, what, six uh, ATP equivalents or energy equivalents from glycolysis and ATP cycle, but you get 30 or something like that from electron transport. So again, the NADP is coming from uh, electron transport. Uh, failures there are leading to oxidative stress. Um, uh, in, uh, this, again, uh, glycols, sorbitols, AGE formation, advanced uh, glycation end products. Again, damaging those, um, those uh, small vessels to the 
to the nerves. Now this one is looking at APOE, APOE4 being the biggest challenge. Um, it's one of the genetics uh, that we look for routinely in our um, heart attack and stroke uh, assessment. They're not too specific about here. They're just repeating some things about oxidative stress and al uh, altered cellular um, uh, regeneration. Let's go to uh, MTHFR. Uh, MTHFR is, uh, deals with the rate-limiting enzyme uh, for homocysteine uh, metabolism. It's um, a methylation enzyme associated with, uh, again, oxidation within the mitochondria. Um, it's also oxidation in other areas. Um, this recycles the methionine from homocysteine. Um, you get a breakdown of that product. That's what MTHFR uh, is associated with. The two genetic uh, ones seen there are 677 and 1298. The problem here is low folate, vitamin B12, vitamin B6. And again, that uh, starts sounding like where the theory came in the earlier one. There is a significant theory that um, Metformin can cause some depletion of um, vitamin B12. Now, <clears throat> so again, the end result here is endothelial cell damage. Whenever you're talking about endothelial de cell damage, you're talking about arteriosclerosis and again, damage to the vasa nervosum, the vessels, the, the micro vessels that uh, support the nerve, resulting in. Uh, neuropathy. Uh, NOS3, nitric oxide. So <clears throat> uh, again, anytime you're talking about uh, decreasing nitric oxide levels, you're talking about, again, the nerves, I mean, the uh, arteries, the micro arteries, the arterioles, capillaries that support the nerve uh, itself. So again, as you see here, most of these are involving um, those arteries, those micro arteries that supply the, uh, the nerves. VEGF, uh, vascular endothelial cell proliferation, uh, angiogenesis, angiogenesis just means um, making new uh, arteries. Um, <clears throat> angiogenesis is a big deal with cancer uh, prevention. Uh, it's usually not healthy when you're getting a large increase in development of, uh, of vessels. In this case, we're talking about VEGF and again talking about some more pathology associated with vessels that support the nerves, micro vessels that support the nerves. Again, all of these leading to diabe diabetic neuropathy. So, again, I started off with a study showing there is not a, an association with uh, MTHFR and diabetic neuro neuropathy. Here's another article showing that it is associated. So, again, I think the jury's out. I do think there is very significant evidence, however, that there is a problem here. I don't think that we've gotten it clear in terms of exactly what's going on. I do think that we uh, know that there are several genetic uh, variations that lead to um, <clears throat> problems with microvasculature. Anything leading to problems with microvasculature is going to cause a problem to the, um, to the supply lines for the, uh, the nerves. And in diabetics, we already have a stressor in that area. Thank you for your attention.